everybody, this is Johnny DeSantis for True Rival Fitness, to train like an athlete for bowling. And first off, man, let me just thank everybody for all the support that you've gotten behind this whole Train Like an Athlete for Bowling program and supporting the Facebook page and liking the things that we're doing and following the videos. We've had so many great questions, so many great comments. It's just been great, man, for me to be able to share this with you guys and, and again, to hear all that good stuff and get all the good questions. Uh, that we've got. As a matter of fact, today's video uh, is a really good one. I'm going to show you a couple uh, exercises of something that we typically neglect. It comes from a uh, question from one of our uh, our followers, uh, Robert Hearn. I hope I pronounced that right. But Robert asked this. He says, is there any exercises that I can do to build wrist strength because I feel I'm not getting on the ball like I used to? Thanks again, Johnny, for all the great videos and keep up the great work. Hey, first of all, for Robert, listen, man, thank you again for your kind words and all your support. Keep watching the videos, glad they're helping. And yes, there is a couple things that we can do, and I'm going to show you this today. I'm going to show everybody out there today a couple things you can do to help build some forearm and wrist strength, okay? Real simple. One is with a, uh, a homemade device. Uh, again, you know what I mean, homemade devices, right? I'm going to show you that. Great, great little exercise and something with either a little dumbbell or something that has a little weight, okay? So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Get ready, let's check it out. All right, okay. guys, here's the first exercise. This is the tool we're gonna to use. This is something you build at home. I made one here. Matter of fact, a lot of guys are not aware that I'm also advanced level certified uh, ice hockey coach for USA Hockey. And this was something that we've done that we would do to develop wrist strength, uh, especially on our wrist shots, okay? And it's simple this. Matter of fact, that's a hockey stick, an old hockey stick, wood stick that we broke. So we sawed it, chopped it up. Uh, I just have some black tape, little grip tape on the edges. And what we did is we have some string that we tied around to the middle of the bar. Okay, I have a weight. This is only a two and a half pound weight attached at the bottom uh, with a couple clips. So basically the move is this. You start up top, your arms are about shoulder width apart, and you simply just unroll the weight. And guys, look, I know you've probably seen this before. And then roll it back up. And again, you you start doing this a few times, no time, you're gonna feel the burn, baby. Then go the other way. Now, try not to let it just fly out of your hand and do that, that's not cool, okay? That's not the exercise. Just try to rotate with every movement, this bar, okay? And then you go back and unravel it. And you can do this for time, you can do it for a minute at a time, get a little rest, you could do, you know, repetitions. You could do uh, three sets front and back, take a little break. Because I'm tired. I'm starting to feel a little burn right here, okay? So that's that move. You can make one of these really simple. Again, you can go to a hardware store, get, uh, you know, a dowel rod, cut that down, get some string. Again, attach some string. Go to, uh, you know, sporting goods store. You may have a little weight. This is only two and a half pounds. Perfect, again, for developing good, good, good power and wrist strength. I'm telling you, just that little bit up and down there, I can start to feel, feel the burn in both arms. And actually, right through my, not only through my forearms, but starting to even up my arm. All right, so look, there's the exercise. Simple little tool, cheap, easy to make. Do this thing. You can be at home anytime, right? Commercial comes on, you're watching TV, start getting some reps in. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards. Show goes back on, you can rest if you want to, or just stand there, man, get some in, okay? Feel a little burn, take a little rest, keep going. Stay tuned, I'll show you the next one. Okay, here's the next exercise. Okay, something with a little dumbbell move. Uh, great, great exercise for developing wrist strength, forearm strength, and don't forget, guys, there's a lot of things all connected here, okay? So, you know, we're talking about wrist and forearm, but there's a lot of other things gonna be uh, taking benefit and, and, uh, of this kind of drill, so. Um, but this will really help develop uh, more strength and help you deliver a bowling ball. And again, we're talking about being athletic, so that means head to toe, man. Your body has to be ready, it has to be fine-tuned uh, in all aspects, and this is one of them. And these are the areas I talked about that we, we neglect a lot of, okay? Develop more strength in the wrist and forearm. So here's the next move. Now, again, you could do this on your leg, you could do this on a table. You may want to get like a towel if you do it on a table, something give a little padding. Um, I have a little, little pillow here, so. I'm going to give you uh, the exercise. I'm going to show you a, a really important tip about not just lifting this weight, but if you lift weights, if that's a thing you got to do, 
going to explain something to you so you get the most benefit out of moving and pushing and pulling a weight, okay? So here's the deal. The first one is this. We're going to do wrist curls, okay? I'm hanging over the edge, really my knee, so I'm hanging over the edge of my knee, and I'm just going to curl this thing up, and as I go down, here's the key, very slow, very slow. The negative, you hear about getting the negative. That's more important than this part here. So I would go, go two to three times slower down as you do up. So you come down, nice and slow. You can even roll it down to your fingertips, curl it up. Nice and slow, all the way down. You get that negative, curl it up. You would do this even if you were pulling a big weight. You get that negative. You go two to three times slower on the negative than you do when you're pulling it up or whatever that the big move is, okay? So again, same thing. Get some of these in. Again, 12 to 15 reps. Nice and slow going down. And up. Now this is 10 pounds. You don't have to do 10 pounds. Uh, like we always say, make sure you do both sides. You just want to just work on one arm, okay? You got to do both sides. You always got to balance things out. So make sure you work both arms. Get over here, do the same thing, nice and slow coming down in both sides, okay? Now, our other move is, uh, you could, you know, if this is too much, and it may be for coming up here, okay? So you're going to reverse this, and I'm lifting up here. And this, you know, if you, you know, 10 pounds or whatever you have, it could be a little much right here. So if you want to, you can drop down. I have a five pound weight here. So again, same thing. And I'm gonna fire up, I'm gonna slowly lower it. And I'm firing up, I'm gonna slowly lower it. And I'm gonna power it up, and I'm gonna slowly lower it. And again, 12, 15 reps, 10 to 12 reps, whatever you feel comfortable with. Do it three or four sets. And then you're done. That combined with our other move, with the other tool we showed you, would be a great, great workout, a great exercise. And again, you would do both sides over here. So you're going to come over here and you know do your reps. Not quick like this. You're going to slow it down. All right, guys. So those are the two exercises. Two really, really, really great drills or great exercises to help you, again, develop more wrist strength, more forearm strength. And again, these are parts that we really, really overlook, especially when we talk fitness and people are going to start to work out. If they're going to work out for bowling or whatever sport they're doing. In our case here, you know, wrist strength, forearm strength. Uh, and we're even hitting the fingers too. So there's there's a lot going on here. Like I said, a lot of things are all connected, interconnected that you get benefit from. So do these two drills. Uh, you can make that little tool there. Again, unwind and wind it. Two and a half pound weight, that's all that is. Uh, and you can see what that starts. You'll feel that burn, man. So between the two, do these three to four times a week. Doesn't take long. You can do it, like I said, while you're watching TV. Get some in. Uh, make sure you get that negative, okay? You can fire up, but get that negative every time. That's the key, okay, to, uh, to developing muscle strength. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what we're doing. If you're doing a big bar, again, pump, pump up, slow down, okay? And you can pump it up and then slow. We're looking about two, two and a half to three times slower going down than you are pulling up or whatever the, the case may be, okay? So the negative is always important. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please try it. I get you, man, you're going to get a lot of benefit out of that. It's going to help you make you a better bowler, get you stronger, and that's what we're talking about. So keep working hard. Keep training hard. We're training to be an athlete. We're training to be an athlete for bowling. So listen, man, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the great questions. Keep them coming. I'm going to try to address these things as time goes on. Uh, you can private message me. Some of you guys have had some, you know, some personal issues you wanted to talk about. Man, feel free. Uh, lots more to come. Uh, we're having a blast with this. Keep liking the stuff. If you like this video, hit the like button. We're going to try to grow again the community, but I can't thank you enough for all your support, all the great comments and questions. Keep them coming. Most of all, like I said, keep working hard, and baby, get it done. All right? See you. Till next time. Johnny D. Bye-bye. Get